Hello everyone, welcome back to another late night tool catechism. Tonight, uh, happy to be back in the shop. Uh, this latest uh, round of snow kind of put the kibosh on wood cutting and the other outdoorsy stuff that occupies me in the fall. So here I am back in the shop. Tonight, we're gonna do a little unbox on this Bauer grinder. We're going to start out though, everyone in their shop should probably have a four and a half inch grinder. I usually have two. I like to have a paddle grip, sort of like this guy. This guy here, uh, you run the little safety catch. It's a very nice setup. Uh, this one actually made in the Deutschland. It's held up very nicely for many years. Uh, they've, not sure how old this is, I've had it a while. Uh, they've got the fancy handle with the anti-vibration stuff. It's good. I always keep so much stuff in these boxes that it can be hard to get everything back in there. That brings us to this guy. This is the Bauer 1864E-B. What do all those numbers and slashes and such mean? I don't know. This is a, uh, I guess you'd call it a pistol grip or I always call them a pistol grip. That probably isn't right. I don't know. Uh, I had for many years a Ryobi of this configuration and I was thinking I would buy another Ryobi. And I went to the Home Depot and I saw that they're about $55. And um, the one I had was blue and now they're green and I am not I am not into the green I I don't like it um, it really helps them set themselves apart from the other tools but it's too weird and limey um, so the Ryobi the current Part number or model number on that guy is the AG454. If you're a Chevy guy, that'll be significant to you. This Bauer, let's, let's see here. We're going to open her up. The Bauer was uh, on sale. I got it some time ago. Haven't gotten to opening it up and trying it out. Obviously, you know, the Harbor Freight or Bauer, they all have your guide. Um, Harbor Freight is famous for their basically uh, $10 grinders that you use for a while and then toss. Um, so, how will they be kind of trying to level up? I don't know. But first impressions, we've got uh, a nice, uh, you know, a rubbery cord versus the, you know, the cheap tool, PVC plasticky jobby. Um, So on these, you've got the button you push, pull the trigger. Oh, so that's not a safety feature. That's uh, you can lock lock that bad boy on. Got your handle. It says Bauer on it. Let's screw that jabby in there. Now one thing interesting. I'm accustomed to 
when you buy a grinder, they'll throw that kind of half-assed grinding stone in there for you. No such luck here. Uh, one nice thing that I like about the Ryobi that the Bauer does not have, uh, there's uh, the handle has a slot in it specifically for your stone wrench. Um, like many grinders, you've got a cam lock set up on here now instead of a twisty twist. Uh, the Ryobi I had, I converted it back just to a screw sort of a deal. Theirs had a very large handle and it got in the way. Um, I often use that one I often use that one for cutting. So there's a little slot here on the rear to push it down and then a uh, they've machined a groove in there. So we got that there. And you do need to open that up all the way. We'll see what it's like when I cam lock it down. Very nice. Go like that. Now, spin that, oop, spin that down. Lock that down. It's got a nice weight, a nice balance, a decent cord. Well, that's about all we're going to do with unboxing and such. I've got a couple of projects coming up. Um, we'll do a quick working the, we'll work the shit out of this thing. See how she holds up. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and follow. Have a wonderful day.